Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Wild Bastards where there's still an awful lot of shooting to do here in the Bale Sector, so let's just get right to it, shall we? Down to Innocent 7, uh, which is okay, which is going to be a little bit of a mess. We're up against crankers and bushwhackers and gun hands, and I definitely want to bring Billy just because like we don't have any idea what his deal is. Uh, we have a couple cans of beans. Billy's not feuding with anybody. We still have quite a while to go before we're at the exit, and I do want to come down here and get the um, the charge dace. So people will have time to recover. I might just... I might just do this thing. Maybe we don't use the beans at all yet. Yeah, let's just take the people who are ready to go. Did I misread the tag on this planet? I mean, whatever. All but one outlaw scatters. Oh, but you know what? Roswell has that thing, right? He reduces, yeah. Still though, it should have been it should have been one scatter, right? I don't know. Weird. Anyway. Uh how do we wanna separate these? It feels like these two are the powerful ones. Because part of the problem is that we just like we don't know if Billy's actually good by himself or if he might if he might turn out to kind of suck, so. Alright. Four turns until McNeil arrives over here. Our exit is just below us. There's not really anything of value over in that direction, so I guess we are going through this. So let's have Preach and Billy go that way. Roswell. There's not really much reason to do anything else, though. Honestly, like, like let's go hit the, the coyote tamer. Drop some coyotes at the most difficult fight in the area. Go get this superior gear. Oh, hey, that seems mighty useful. And you're like a multi-attack guy. Plus 10 damage might be, might be pretty good. Maybe. Let's try it. Oh, it's gear. It's I saw plus 10 damage and I immediately assumed it was an armament. Because reading apparently is just beyond me. Just too difficult today. Uh, we don't really have any crams. So let's not worry about don't worry about shopping. Let's just get into it, shall we? Uh, okay. A lot of gun hands. A lot of crankers, actually. And as we have seen in the past, crankers are pretty good against coyotes. I don't expect our uh, our allies here to do very much. Breaking the sermon can spit lead faster than these crankers. Oh, I ain't going to hurt you. All right, I mean, they're right around here. I just want to get into a place where I'm not, like, visible from so many angles, you know? Okay, so every time you pull the trigger... I like these reloading with what I assume are his face tentacles. Every time you pull the trigger, he fires twice. This is a little bit different from, uh... Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit different from Spider-Rosa. Not hugely. Including in the, like, incredible inaccuracy. Uh. Alright, I mean, we're, t we're getting some things done here. So we know people... We know the people went up on that roof. We don't know if anybody's still up there. Reloading. 
unfortunately, yeah, like the, the two shots, when he fires two at once, they don't even necessarily go to the same place. He seems kind of like, I hate to be reductive here, and we don't know what his juice effect is yet, but he does kind of just seem worse than Spider-Rosa a little bit. Okay, nobody is still up here. Well, I don't need a compass to know what's going on here. I should absolutely have just shot the barrel. What am I doing? We did it! Did you see that? We did it! Then again, who's to say I actually would have hit it? <sighs> All right. So we got a little bit of movement left. I mean, this is not a very difficult planet. Oh, we do have a bank. So we can withdraw and then hit the shop. But I mean, like, we're in a really good spot here. Honestly, I don't know that we need the upgrades. That's maybe more something to, uh, wow, I do not. I'm not looking forward to rocket ironclads. Uh, maybe more of a thing to do on a planet where we're not where it's like we we hit this um we hit the opportunity for a withdrawal earlier in the galaxy or something earlier in the uh, branch right now i'm feeling actually mighty powerful what does this helpful drone do okay it seems all right just roz is fine all right i'm gonna send roz over to deal with this i think Troll is just going to stay in our way, unfortunately. All right, I think I'm going to start as Billy. Oh, I'm realizing. I'm realizing you know, we're in, yeah, kind of a rough position. The, um, the cloud of ink. It's actually going to be really important to keep us keeping us alive because of the uh, extremely small amount of cover. No, I think it's probably about time for that, actually. actually know what his juice effect is. One. I got one bullet on him. Now here's the question. Oh. No question. I was going to say, did he come down? The wind-up time is really brutal. Okay, there we go. There's a little coffin. How did she just, how'd she just fail the jump? Terrible. God damn it. <laughs> that one was me not remembering that there was uh, goop right on the other side of that thing. I did in fact jump as I intended. I just uh, forgot to intend something uh, sensible. 
This is going well. These two don't have to fight again after this, so... These guys have a ton of a lot of health. Even beyond the armor, that's just a lot of health. Uh, yeah, we won't get there this turn, so I guess it doesn't matter. I like I don't. Oh no, you spent your movement already. Yeah, okay. We can we can help a little bit. Oh, well, this is just trained gun hands and crankers, though. There's not any... Wait, is the trained or the veteran ones that have the armor? Whatever. It doesn't matter. We can only use the thing on the roadblock, so we will use it there. Take this. The armor of... There's no armored enemies at that roadblock. There's no armored enemies at any of the remaining roadblocks, even. Well, fine, then. There we go. All right. I have faith. Yeah, this one, this one is definitely not the one I'm worried about. I think the other one's going to be really rough. So overheated. You know, I've talked a lot of trash about these coyotes in the past, but they're kind of getting it done. Gun does not fire very many shots before it overheats. Also, I gotta say, the toxic rounds, very strong actually. I'm really enjoying those. We took so much damage there. Yeah, and like waiting a turn isn't going to help because he's just going to run to the core next turn anyway. I am a little bit actually concerned. Directive. I think we just got to try to go through. I want that core ace. Yeah. This is going to be bad. Oh, and of course it's on a setting with no cover. All right, that one should just toxic to death pretty quickly, I think. Although, that doesn't mean you can't shoot me. Also, they have a shit ton of health, I forgot. Toxic to death pretty quickly indeed. Alright, we got through the armor. This gun is not intended for use at this range. Alright, two down. We just have to be, we have to be so fucking careful. We got no cover, but that means they got no cover. Just shooting in the general direction of sound. Not hitting anything. Unfortunately. Now we have a rocket jump. But to be perfectly honest with you, 
this is just not the kind of enemy that I think that's tech against. Hoping to get some actual damage onto one of them so that we can get the toxic counter going. Alright, that's something. That's a start. The rest of them had the wherewithal to move. But if this guy's not going to uh not gonna move, I'm gonna take advantage because we are. We, we are in some trouble. There is something going on out in the hallway right now. I hope that's not coming through on the microphone. Apologies if it is. Okay, I did hit him. That was an armor sound. Okay. I got a couple of hits on that first volley. The second volley I don't think was was any. Alright, that one saw me. Now what I don't know about the way this game's AI works is does that mean they all have information do they you know do they share like that or because i'm imagining that one guy's running over here now all right we're gonna have to gonna have to come around the side here ah this pond can't go around the side of the pond okay All right, real damage. Shit. One death. Found him. <laughs> trying to just get like little little bits of damage whenever we can Is there anything that keeps them bleeding we managed to managed to kill a fair number of them already all right somebody's coming around from this side Right there. Oh, I ain't gonna hurt you. They're getting closer. The moment this turns into up close combat, we blast off, right? Because I don't have, I don't have a hope. I don't have a prayer in up close combat with what remains of this squad. That's good. Nothing nothing makes somebody want to comply like a filthy and then a reference to their race or species, you know? Puts me in a real let's all get along kind of mood. Yep. I immediately started backing up so that the guy um, to our left who was shooting would be Firing at, uh, it's like trying to move lateral to his line of fire. Come on. Don't seem to be hitting him. But I am drawing attention to myself. It sounds like he's getting closer, doesn't it? Wow, no, he was way the fuck out there. Turns out I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> new, new information to some of us. 
Okay, that guy's on the other side of the log. I'm pretty sure. Can anybody see him? -uh. Yeah. Thirty-four health might not allow us to survive one more bullet. That's that's where my head's at. In case you're wondering why I'm playing like such a damned coward. Come on now, you filthy Zeno. Okay, the back end of the log is in a bad place. Log is not good cover. But it is an okay place to cover for a second from him specifically. So he backed up a little bit, but no, he's not going to be visible from here. Now see, that's dangerous. Were I to shoot at that guy, it would not be very difficult for him to just take a sight line where he can fire down the log. Pretty close, pretty close to my actual face. Lost him. Oh, it you just keep okay. Misunderstood the functionality of the thing. That just keep that just keeps happening. <laughs> Is the thing about that. Show yourself, you filthy Zeno. So I'm pretty bummed out about that because I'm I think we heard an armor sound there, which means that that guy is at basically full health. Ah, damn it. What a shot. Uh, I got eight of them. All right, team. This is going to be a challenge. Do we bounce? No, we go for it. We're going to make It's going to be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not super worried about McNeil. We could just beacon out after grabbing the card if we really needed to. Okay, so... He's not going to catch us. Do we want to... I mean... Y'all want vengeance? I want a little bit of vengeance. We have enough movement. We're going to get there next turn anyway. Plus, we can really, we can really take advantage here. What? Terrible stuff. I'm gonna get everybody killed. This is gonna be incredible. All right, who's ready for some rapid fire? I feel like we fire pretty rapidly as it is. What are you talking to, man? Blessed are they that shoot. Let me introduce y'all to the missus. It's pretty rapid. See that? You see that? Oh, we done it! All right, it is it it is pretty rapid. I'll give him that. Okay, and then back the other direction. You know, we'll we'll be out of here soon. I gotta say, when I fired the uh, the Roswell juice thing, the the blast off, I was so disoriented, uh, so very caught off guard by the way that functioned, that I didn't even, I couldn't even do anything useful with, with it. I was just flabbergasted. 
truly and fully. Preach. Esther, I've been feeling a powerful spark between us when these eyes of ours meet. So, I was wondering... Well, Roswell and I are already sworn to one another. It's very pure, and that's why we never talk about it. Even to each other. Okay, I was gonna say, wait, that's fe that's what feuding. Okay, that's not okay. If you hey, if you make a move on a woman, especially a woman in your workplace, and she turns you down, it is not okay to feud about that. Grow up. Uh, armor save. Ooh, money from kills is pretty good. Or you know, what if you just didn't die? What if you just didn't die? Because Casino is kind of bad, in my in my opinion. He has a hard time not dying. Okay, fireproof. Fireproof is cool. And... Do we... Like, here's the question. Is it worth stopping off on the toxic... Or the tonic planet? Or do I think it's just going to do more damage in the long run? Like, how bad is it? Oh... Well, shit, if it's just grizzlies and coyotes. Yeah, this is basically free then. We just send, um, <laughs> we just send these two. I can't even be harmed by a bear. And not because I'm gaseous, weirdly. It's, it's because of the fire thing. Uh, so what do we got? Armored coyotes, so technically the corrosive nanites would do something, but I feel like we should just run right at them. Yeah. McNeil arrives in one. Let's not waste any time. So... Actually, I am gonna... I am gonna open with the cookout here. Okay. The three burnouts have burned out. So I'm immune to the damage from the bears. I am not immune to the damage from the coyotes. Not a ton of coyotes left by my count, though. Darn it. There's one. There's, okay, there's a couple up there. Yeah, armored enemies. Thank you, Kaboom. It's very helpful. It's very difficult to actually jump up onto this surface. See ya. Did that other coyote up here die? I guess he must have. Alright. Shoot. I am extremely bad at staying up on the platforms. Let's juice over there. That wouldn't be terrible. Guess what? All right. Armored coyotes are a total nightmare. Huge bears with flamethrowers, no problem at all. I just got an achievement for winning an encounter without shooting, and I feel like that's a little bit of a misrepresentation. Uh, we should probably split up, yeah? Nope, you're going this way, and you're going this way. I've 
got two cryo bays ready for them twisted forms. You can volunteer, or I can come down and pick. I mean, it's true that our forms are a little, they're a little on the weird side, I guess. All right, we're filling out that codex. Heavy crankers have explosive bullets. These later game enemies are just absolute fucking nightmares. What a, what a terrible thing to inflict on your players. Sounds to me like you didn't eat the beans. <laughs> All right, Smokey's he's a, he's a little touchy. He's a touchy character. We're going to have to use some beans here in the very near future. Okay, low gravity, hunter bounty, assassins, and grizzlies. So it definitely wouldn't be terrible to just bring Kaboom again for some of this stuff. You know, Casino's pretty good at fighting bears, too, though, honestly. Lucky. What if we did, like, Casino and Billy and Hopalong and Judge? And we don't have to, we don't have to use any beans just yet. This leaves us with a lot of people pretty tired I'm definitely going to tonic somebody right before the, the last thing probably Roswell maybe Rosa yeah I think I'm fine just going forward like this we have a couple of uh, a couple of items here a little bit of bonus armor on Hopalong I think makes a lot of sense so it's like Hop along in the judge. Or maybe we got to scatter and we have to figure things out a little bit differently. All right, so charge ace, a real ace, so many mods. Francisco's coming in over here. That's actually a very inconvenient position. Hop along is the one who scattered. We can really use that bonus movement range right now. All right. Well, of these of these people, I guess I think Billy's the one most suited to running alone. So maybe we send Billy. To back up hop along. Yeah, we could use the Sneak Thief to just grab this charged ace and then not worry about coming down here. That's probably the thing to do. Alright, and then we probably don't want Billy. Like, this is not a Billy job. This is a casino job. How many shots to the mouth do I think it takes to kill a bear with the judge rifle? Let's see what we can find out. Two. Appreciate my ally revealing every gun barrel. That's as fast as I can go. That's as fast as I can strafe, by the way. Let me know if you need any lessons with that thing. 
Okay, it was embarrassing enough without the commentary. Thank you. There's no gun barrels in here, are there? Doesn't look like it. I think that other, the other uh, grizzlies in the barrel out or in the crater outside. I think that one. Yeah. All right. They got a style. They got a, a way that they like to engage. But guess what, motherfucker? That's not a very good first shot. Nor the second one, really. There we go. Oh, I forgot to do a 360. Shit. Back in the day, you really wanted to impress somebody with a no-scope. That's how you did it. <sighs> okay. Pick up this nitro and then, like, I guess head toward the agony ray? You got it. Damn, if I didn't miss y'all. Alright, no particular reason to use the nitro this turn. Just five grizzlies. Versus so many gun barrels. Just fucking so many gun barrels. I definitely don't want to take on the gun barrel one with hop along. So Howdy. maybe y'all are headed that way. Yeah, the grizzly thing I think we should be able to handle. Let's make this easier. This is, yeah, this is a whole, this map is weird. I'm trying to like pl uh, plan out how these two parties are going to move around. It's a little awkward. Okay. Uh... Take my seat. I am the law. None of that. Managed to do it before my allies set it off too. Makes a fair point, because you know ought to be involved. This feels like his kind of place. Absolutely not. So that guy doesn't see us yet. That's an interesting, um, I hadn't really considered when you have the reduced health effect on gun barrels, they have a visible HP bar from like any distance. Makes it a lot easier to deal with them. Alright, not even, not even casinos missing a bear at that distance. And y'all know, I have a lot of faith in his ability to miss stuff. Doc Casino, you me blind. Watch. Well, that's a shame. I thought that was a good strat there. Okay. Looks like they folded. Easy enough. <laughs> Turns out the enemies are less dangerous when they only have one HP. Who would have thought? Uh, let's just go ahead and jump these guys, too. This will be a little bit more of a real fight. Uh, but also, the Cranker will actually be able to participate this time instead of just dying instantly, so that's something. Just remove a bear immediately. Ah, 
that's embarrassing. Right, there could be juice in here, right? Sometimes, hell yeah. Feeling good about this jackpot. Dealer's choice. All right. Feels like uh feels like we got the best of this situation. I guess state gets remembered between fights on the same planet, right? We should maybe have saved that rifle shot and finished the bear off with the, with the casino shotgun. Got it. All right, so we open this up. We just run past Francisco and then back. I think that makes sense. So of these two, I mean, like, Hopalong's perfectly good at fighting a grizzly. Switch. My concern is just the danger of more than one grizzly or the danger of a grizzly that sees me coming. But the way they like to crouch in these, uh, in these craters, actually, is very helpful for me. What an interesting behavior. And they space themselves out. Oh, no, they don't. Never mind. I was going to say one per crater. It's just like a very polite thing to do. Wow, you didn't hear that, huh? It sounds like it's making an awful lot of noise, but somehow I guess not. I'm not sure that there was an enemy aware of us for even a moment at any point during that battle. Okay. Let's go grab ourselves a mod, shall we? So, I think we should grab this. Okay, a hunter companion's pretty cool. We'll uh, we'll save that for the last planet. Trained gun hand friend to help you all help you all out with that, and then yeah, we just head back. In. And it turns out these guys are the ones getting the nitro. We learned about the furtive bushwhacker. Again, pretty sure an enemy we've not seen with muffled weaponry. Ooh. Now that's compelling. I probably am going to give that to Spider Rosa, honestly. Alright, let's get through here. Five hunter killers. No big deal. Sorry, killer hunters. Okay. In this, like, very enclosed environment, actually, I think, works out very badly for them. I think this is a position where a Casino actually should be able to get a lot of good work done. And I do have that um, that kicker double lot here. What the fuck did he just call me? Terrible, terrible stuff. Well, that's embarrassing. Fortunately, he won't live to tell anybody about it.
yeah, I might, uh, I might not be at my absolute best today. I'm feeling a little, a little bit mildly incompetent here and there. It's me, Bill. All right, let's get off of this planet. Now, I have not left myself a lot of people to be charged on the next world, unfortunately. I strayed from the pack down there, and you done found me. You got my thanks. Seems like a good friend to have. Ooh. I do like... Yeah, it'll be nice to have somebody on the team who can ignore armor. Even bulletproofier. Can't go wrong with that. All right, let's finish it up, shall we? Oh, shit. This is gonna be good. I don't like that. I don't like her just being all up front. I don't like that or that. Okay, so this is going to be a nightmare. I am going to tonic you. And then we're going to equip. Uh, you have an armament already. I forgot. But it's still good. Yeah, you know what? Take a friend. Um, so who all is going down to the planet? I guess, like, judges, judges all full up and also is good friends and then like who else is going to be good at fighting rattlers and morticians this is not a situation probably like where we want to bring kaboom right but you know what you got it you and hop along is kind of an awkward fit with the the mortician fireballs maybe it's just like smoky So let's go Smokey. I guess I'm just going to cancel a couple of feuds. This is going to be my plan. Uh, let's Smokey and Roswell. And then like who complements each other well? Who would I like to be able to be a, a team up? Casino, maybe Casino and Roswell? I think those two would fit. Okay, but we're taking these four down. No scatter? No scatter? Okay. I mean, like, I'm a little torn on it because obviously it's a bummer when you get scatter, but also it seems to be the primary source of outlaws deciding to pal around. So if I run you two to... Oh, sorry. No. Uh, you two together... Uh... She's so kind of all around, but like, there's no reason having her with no reason to have her with Billy. I guess we'll do it this way, and that way bo both squads have a um, have an ally to potentially use as cannon fodder or whatever. All right, three turns till an arrival over here, which we kind of don't even care about. Well, I mean, this one's straightforward at the very least. Inescapable Stingers. Who's fighting Inescapable Stingers? I guess Smokey probably. So let's have the other crew back up and do this. Get y'all in there. All right. Ooh. Juice up on the tower. All right. I don't have to do. Take the lead. On this match, you sons of bitches. I imagine the stingers are probably not super smart against our allies. And the problem is they're not like exposing themselves as much as I would like either. They're so fucking fast. Watch left. 
Okay, that one's lit up probably lethally. Okay. Yeah, like the good news is I only have to hit him like armor plus one times, right? Okay. Squad handled most of it. I'm a little surprised the Ironclad survived that, given how hard he was going, but... Well, who's up for the same fight again? Except this time we don't have the Ironclad. Yeah, we still got... What's his face? Oh, this is good. Alright, we got... We got so much juice that we might be able to just rely on juice. Just like dosy doing to avoid the projectiles. Yep, that is in fact what it took. And I guess technically one of them panicked. No, actually, no. None of them did. We got we got full kill credit. You probably still get the infamy credit when they when they panic and run away due to a thing, right? Ah, uh, okay. Now this um this I'm less enthused about, but I do think this is the party to handle it. Yeah, and the helix is all there is to get. I guess there, there's the infamy pawn shop, obviously. This is this is gonna be ugly. Hard to deal damage. Yeah, she will just, she will find a way to shoot around them. No matter how unlikely it seems that such a thing could occur. Remaining three are actively dying. Watch left. Oh, God damn it. We killed them all. Well, we basically lost an entire outlaw there, but honestly. Yeah, she's fine. Never mind. She's fine. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, now the only thing that could go wrong here is if fighting 15 assassins uh, somehow didn't work out in our favor. So maybe we just don't even do that. Maybe we just choose not to do that. I hate these guys. Yeah, their spirits all fucking Contra spread shot all over us. It feels a little bit like cowardice, if I'm honest. Just letting that patrol survive, but I think I think it's the right thing to do. All right, he looks collected. Uh, let's get the hell out of here. That was easy, at least. Isn't this a beautiful little picture? 
old man kaboom, proper miss preach, and little Billy the Squid sitting around the fire. Meanwhile, at the head of the table, a spider spinning her webs, right? And a dealer counting his ducats. The two Judases got us all in the dead book. They ain't on the Christmas card list. But you better have some to back up that Judas bit. Ever notice how they ain't been dead and the rest of us have? How would you know that? The fact that they rode off and left me alone for Francisco to butcher. Hold horses. What would be their motive for sending up their own gang? I need to explain every goddamn thing to you, Lackwitz. Ever heard the saying, an answered prayer, the drifter's there? When Chase had us run ragged, these two cooked up a plan. To use our mortal peril as a signal to get themselves a ride out to the homestead. Well, they figured right. Only Chase and his urchins had to get through 11 of us to make it happen. And they would have got theirs too. If the drifter weren't a ship of its word. You've seen Miss Rose and Doc put the gang in a mess of trouble just to get the drifter's eye on them. Uh, do we get to defend ourselves from this slander? I don't know, Rosa. Maybe getting killed done something to my hearing. You can do it after I leave. I heard enough. Let me out of the first blood ball, drifter. Oh, damn. Okay. Critters may be beasts, but they don't turn on their own. Maybe it's time for me to find that farm after all. Reckon I can make it on my own, too. I got a nose for the cram. Well, not a nose as such, but plenty of folks willing to pay for the best miner in the arm. Drifter, if and you would. I ran a quick simulation while you all were making those sounds with your mouths. It shows throwing these two jackoffs into the brig is the optimal scenario. Reckon we're all in on that action. And don't think you can outdraw me either, you double crossers. Friends, this ain't right. I look forward to y'all coming to your senses real soon now. This here is a second chance. We got an opportunity here to... You gonna lead us now, Mr. Roz? Y'all got the respect. And that shiny gun. You don't want to see those simulation results. There's a lot of fire. It's time for me to find comrades with a higher average IQ. Some company, Roswell? You may accompany me, but don't read anything into it. Well, this is really all just going to pieces, huh? What, you clingers ain't heard the news? Oh, gang's a lie. With treachery for dressing. I figure you might still need my, uh, my guns. I just, I just want to be the body. Uh, okay, well, I mean, that's kind of a gang. That's something. I gotta say, it doesn't feel necessary to both brig them and have everybody leave the crew, right? Like, we, if one or the other, you would think, would have done just fine. Okay, that's a... <laughs> that's a powerful aesthetic. That is not what I was expecting Sarge's deal to be, necessarily. Traders in the brig. Trail them behind the ship. They can swim the starry sea. Dump them on Chase's doorstep for all I care. You still getting the rest of the gang back, though? Got something else to do, have ya? Figure it's the least we could do, being as they's dead right now. Hold your horses. Is that Mr. Boom I see on the bubble? Old fool didn't get far, did he? Guess we ought to stop off and pick him up on the way. As if we didn't already have enough to do. Yeah, okay. So we're going to pick up uh, Sarge Boom, I guess, next time. And we're going to find a way to recover some of our lost comrades, apparently. Well, this whole thing's just gone to shit. It's fine. It's fine. It's going to be fine. 
that's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time, uh, I guess we're trying to reassemble the crew while still trying to finish assembling the crew the first time. And also, hopefully, not getting just absolutely torn to pieces by the princes in our moment of weakness. So I suppose come back next time to see if I can pull that off. And we'll see you then.